Welcome, and thank you for your interest in learning more about how to develop a comprehensive school suicide prevention program. Suicide is a leading cause of death among adolescents. Since the 1950s, the suicide rate among teens has quadrupled. Comprehensive school suicide prevention describes a set of school-based strategies aimed at preventing and addressing adolescent suicide on multiple levels. Effective comprehensive school suicide prevention consists of three levels, primary prevention, secondary prevention, also called intervention, and tertiary prevention, also called postvention. All three levels are needed to comprehensively address adolescent suicide. This website provides an overview of these three prevention levels and provides practical steps to ensure that each level is effectively addressed in your school. School suicide primary prevention refers to all school programs and activities aimed at preventing student suicide thoughts, attempts, and completions. These activities focus on raising faculty, staff, and student awareness of suicide warning signs, risk factors, and referral steps. Faculty and staff should know what to do when they identify a student at risk. Primary prevention involves the following steps. Develop a school suicide prevention policy, educate school faculty and staff on warning signs, ensure school faculty and staff collaboration, include suicide prevention education in the curriculum, develop a peer leadership peer assistance program, and implement activities that increase school connectedness. School suicide secondary prevention, intervention, refers to the appropriate steps school professionals should take when a student shows warning signs, threatens suicide, or attempts suicide. When an adolescent show, shows warning signs or makes a suicidal threat to a school professional, it is crucial that the school professional follow the steps outlined in the intervention plan. School suicide intervention requires a plan to address suicide warning signs, threats, and attempts. A crisis intervention team should be established to lead all steps. The crisis intervention team should consist of a diverse array of school professionals who are all fully interested and invested in prevention. The crisis intervention team develops the intervention plan and should have a team leader oversee the situation and all appropriate actions. Secondary prevention, intervention, includes the following steps. Develop a school suicide intervention plan, ensure student safety, assess students' risk, determine mental health services needed, ensure student receives the appropriate care, inform parents, debrief school faculty and staff, and follow up with the student, family, and mental health services. School suicide tertiary prevention, postvention, refers to school activities which occur after a student has attempted suicide or died due to suicide. When a suicide occurs, it is a traumatic event for many survivors. This includes students, faculty, staff, parents, families, and the overall community. Many survivors are at increased risk for suicide themselves. Suicide clusters are well established among adolescents. Thus, the school response to an actual suicide is crucial. The goals of postvention are to minimize trauma, reduce the likelihood of further suicides, and ensure individuals receive the help they need. Tertiary prevention, postvention, includes the following steps. Develop a school suicide postvention plan, inform faculty and staff, inform students, inform parents, provide multiple counseling sites in the school, provide community mental health services, appropriately address media requests, and monitor the school's ongoing emotional climate. This website is offered to help you in developing a comprehensive school suicide prevention program within your school. We have provided several key steps to assist you with your efforts in establishing primary prevention, intervention, and postvention. It is our hope that the following information will be beneficial to you in preventing adolescent suicide. Thank you so much for joining us in these prevention efforts. Together, we can all positively impact mental health in our children and help to save lives.